Hello, this is Jonathan Burnside, here to talk about hierarchical path planning. Before we get into that, have you ever invented something or maybe came up with a novel idea to solve some interesting problem, only to later find out you weren't even close to really inventing that, that that idea or invention had existed long before you came up with the exact same idea? This happens to us all. And for me, one case was hierarchical path planning. The problem we had when I was working at High Moon Studio we were developing a game where we had a level where characters and agents could move from sort of building top to building top and jumping around from rooftop to rooftop. Any of these rooftops we had to search graphs for, um, navigation mesh in this case, but we didn't have a good way of sort of pathing what roofs or what building tops we needed our AI agents to move between to get to some goal. So I came up with a solution that we would sort of do our path planning in stages. In the first stage, we would figure out, we would just path plan between what roofs or what buildings we needed to travel the tops of. Not how to go between any starting and stopping locations on that roof, but just which ones. Um, once we had that, we could then do another search from the start and end location on that given roof. And this is basically what hierarchical path planning does for us in a, a much more robust, generic manner. The sort of goal, though, with hierarchical path planning is to divide and conquer. Divide and conquer just is really a useful idea for any sort of problem solving, especially computer science related problem solving. It just means we're, we have some sort of complex problem to solve, and instead of trying to just come up with a solution to that really hard problem, we're actually going to break that problem up into multiple pieces, solve each of those simpler pieces or problems, and then combine all of those solutions together, and the result should be a solution to the original, grander, more complex problem. Hierarchical path planning is a technique for doing this for path planning. When we have a really complex search graph where path planning might take a long time, we can actually do hierarchical path planning to improve that. So the sort of general idea here is that we would start by building a search graph. All our possible nodes, all our possible uh, vertices that our AI agents can navigate between. Um, we'll call that our low level graph. It has all our vertices. We'll then build higher level graphs. And in the example on the slides, we're just going to have two layers, a low level graph and a high level graph. But we, we could have as many layers as it would be useful. All the nodes that are in the high level graph also exist in the lower level graph, but the high level graph definitely has fewer nodes. It's sort of a more generic form of the low level graph. When we want to path plan, we'll actually start with the high level graph or whatever our highest level graph that we have is. And we'll find our start and end locations that we want to path between, and we'll just do whatever path planning we need with that uh, smaller set of uh, vertices to travel between finding that path. Step two, we're going to use all the vertices we found in the higher level path. Those will become our start and end points for multiple searches in the lower level graph. So in this uh, example, we had, uh, I believe, four locations on our high level path. Each of those connected locations or vertices um, represents a search that we need to do on the lower level path. We combine all of these search results and we'll get one path planned out for that lower level path that will get us between our original start and end goals. So the benefits to hierarchical path planning, well, these first two really go hand in hand. It's a faster search and tends to have less memory overhead. These sort of go hand in hand because we are always, any one search we're doing is going to have fewer uh, vertices, fewer nodes that we have to search through. Um, so that's less in memory and less algorithms we have to run to get a result. Another benefit of hierarchical path planning is that if it's going to fail to find a path, it usually fails faster. We might fail to find a path on our high level graph and never even have to try to find the path on the lower level graph that has more nodes in it. There are, of course, drawbacks to every technique, this one included. In any one search, we typically have fewer nodes to deal with on one search. There are a greater number of nodes, of vertices that do exist. You know, we have all the low level graph and any number of higher level graphs 
all with uh, vertices inside. If we have any sort of dynamic changes to our search, this is much more difficult to deal with. If we only have one search graph and some dynamic change happens, well, we only have one graph to change. But in a hierarchical path planning system, we're going to have this hierarchy of search graphs. Any sort of dynamic changes have to affect all of the different nodes that exist in all the different hierarchies of searches. Um, and we also can give suboptimal paths. This is because you know, the higher searches um, are going to define what nodes we use for the lower searches. That might not always be the perfect paths, but they're, they're usually, in almost most cases, they're going to be good results. Not necessarily the optimal path, but a decent enough in most cases to look believable for your AI agents. Thank you for listening. Good luck.